But the ES5 form right? They're all George. Yeah. George had yeah. George Jr. George the third and George Jetson. Georgia. I think his daughter is even named Georgia. Us. Georgia. Yes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Omar Figueroa facing DUI charges uh, following arrest on January 29th. Uh, I'll just say them both. They're so they're both stupid. Say well, I'm leaving things. Adrian Broner for last. Oh, okay. There you uh, go. Um, and I put Omar in front. So for those of you who don't know, uh, we're going to talk about Adrian Broner, who's basically been arrested again for sexual battery. But the guy that he's supposed to be fighting has been arrested as well. This will be the match of the cons, I guess. I don't know how else to televise it. They had a jail-free card, Lee. I winner. Guess. Yeah, winner. I think that's the way to do this. The, yes, the winner of the fight actually gets a PBC attorney and a get-out-of-jail-free card. <laughs> That would May- make the fight really compelling. ESPN Mayweather, report- Mayweather signs the check for the lawyer if right. you win. That's a great deal. ESPN.com reported Tuesday that Omar Figueroa Jr. was charged with uh, driving under the influence uh, after an arrest January 29th in Indian Wells, California. For those of you who don't know, Palm Springs, California. The 28-year-old Figueroa of Alasco, Texas, but is in Southern California to work out with Joel Diaz out in Palm Springs, uh, according to ESPN, Figaro was arrested at 3.14 a.m. Pacific. Yes. Yeah. That's a long time, baby. That's an hour after the bar closes. That is an hour after the bar closes. That is the best time to be on the road, you moron. <laughs> in a town that has five people driving right. at 3.14 in the morning. Let me explain. Nobody. It, Palm Springs is full of old people, okay? Nobody's on the road at 3 in the morning. You could go out and lay on the main roads in the middle of the road. It, it's like it's like those guys that have the ecstasy stickers in the back of their uh, windows, right? And then they get they wonder why the cops pull them out of the car every single time. <laughs> Morons! Three in the morning. Yeah, let's just get behind the wheel drunk, dog. That's they won't know. <laughs> Which takes us to our main topic of today. I've waited an hour and a half to get here. Adrian Broner arrested again. What a shocker! Adrian Stabone the Boner Broner was arrested for sexual battery. Uh, former four division world champion Adrian Broner, who actually posed for his mugshot, posed. He <laughs> posed. Actually shifted his head, turned his head a little bit, and posed, showing off a grill. Uh, was booked in Atlanta's Fulton County Jail on misdemeanor charge of sexual battery Tuesday morning, according to several reports. The 28-year-old was scheduled to appear before a judge at 9 a.m. on Tuesday. Uh, Police told TMZ that a woman has accused Broner of improperly groping her at a Lenox Square shopping center last April. Police pulled Broner over in an SUV riddled with bullet holes in Covington. That was another, yeah, that was another. And arrested him in 2014, for those of you keeping track of Broner's record. That was less than three weeks after he pleaded not, not guilty to aggravated robbery and felonious assault when a man accused him of assaulting him uh, while he was bowling. bowling. Yep. Black Sports Online uh, spoke with Atlanta Police Department and were given the following statement. On February 12, 2018, Atlanta police units were dispatched to 3393 Peach Tree Road in reference to a sexual battery. Upon arriving in, it spoke with the victim who advised that she had been in, inappropriately groped by a, a male later identified as uh, Mr. Adrian Boner Broner. Mr. Broner denied the accusation and after being interviewed was charged with misdemeanor sexual battery and transported to Fulton County Jail without incident. At this time, there's no additional information. Well, there is more information now. Adrian Broner, I didn't touch nobody. I didn't want to take a picture. <laughs> so I grab her. <laughs> He's all, you want to know how you get a girl away from me real fast? <laughs> According to Adrian Broner, it was simply a false accusation from a fan who was angered that he didn't want to take a photo with her. I didn't touch nobody, Broner told Channel 2 Action News. After he left jail Tuesday afternoon, she wanted to take a picture, and I didn't want to take a picture. Broner is no stranger to legal incident, blah, 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 blah. There is no word on whether or not the allegations will go through or what his attorney will actually do. 
He is scheduled to fight another felon. Uh, by the way, DUI in California is a felony. Um, and worse. And I think Omar Figueroa topped Adrian Broner's arrest with the DUI. I don't, um, I don't know. They're, uh, they're perfect. On, they're perfect. People. They're literally, he killed people, they're literally perfect for uh, each other. Hey, and, let me tell you something. Let me give you guys an example of when false accusations can go against you and actually the police arrest you on a false accusation. I'm going to give you what Broner's criminal history is as of right now. Charges of robbery, 2007, 2010. Aggravated robbery, 2007. Fallacious assault, uh, 2007. Gun charges, 2007, 2008. Domestic violence, 2008. Intimidation of a witness, Yeah, that's my favorite one that he did. And battery, 2008. You see, when a cop pulls this up, when he pulls up your criminal history, and this is all he sees, Lee, oh, how guilty, fast do you think guilty, he's going to slap guilty, the cuffs on guilty. him? Exactly. This is not a fact, oh, they're just harassing him. They're just doing it. This guy has had a history. Lee, this is like eight, nine charges. Guilty. What the hell is oh, going on? Oh, they're just doing it because I'm black. No. because No. No, because you're not guilty. at all. And if guilty. I'm the cop, I arrest you too. If that female is crying and says he grabbed my my private area, I shoot you're you. Gone. Yeah, at, at this point, based on his record, you're going to get you're... shot and tased. <laughs> you're so stupid. <laughs> Adrian but, Broner yeah. needs to be tased every time he goes he in now. To... Maybe. All well... right, look at well, This is what I have for Broner. He needs to be took into the forest. Whoever loves this guy and thinks that he has anything left of a career needs to get him out of the city. I don't care if it's Atlanta. I don't care if it's Cincinnati. They need to get this guy to his own place if they want to save adrian broner lee i'm telling you right now this is not going to end well mark my words today adrian broner is not going to end well if he continues the path that he's on right now we're talking prison we're talking health mental health issues we are talking about people in his own city shooting at him you remember the story you just read the bullet riddled car when you are a superstar you are not supposed to be getting shot at in your own city. They need to remove Adrian Broner. This is not going to end well, and I don't mean for it to end that way, but I've seen this happen too many times to not think how Adrian Broner's life is going to end. Take his ass to the forest, man. Take, and I'm not talking Big Bear. I need something even more secluded That's why I'm that. saying, that's why I'm saying just tase him every time you talk. It's like a aversion therapy. This Maybe where, if you put a few thousand volts of electricity into his ass every time he breaks a, does a crime. You right? need to tell Adrian Broner, you've got about three years, two to three years of being in a now, legit Somebody's going to just shoot him in the back of the head. I don't look, I, I'm of not, course. I don't want to get into a whole thing because we had gun problems over the last couple of weeks, but I'm telling you people, Adrian Broner is literally on the fast track to having somebody just be done with him and kill him. And the girl that he touched, she did have a boyfriend there. You know, this, this is how those things happen. You, when, when you, when you're being, a, when it's alleged that you grabbed a girl's private part and her boyfriend is holding, uh, sometimes that, that don't end well. I'll tell you how it would have gone down in my universe if that had happened. Uh, hey, yeah. <laughs> it, it's not going to be good. It's, oh, Adrian Brunner would kick your ass. Really? He can stop my car. And not only that, <laughs> no, and you go MMA, Lee. You go fucking MMA. If you're going to get anywhere. You're going to tell me that when I pick him up and put him on the ground and strap a triangle I mean. on him, he's yeah. he's all set for that. I know boxers got hands, people, but you know what? You throw a fucking mannequin and you go MMA on him. <laughs> I'd like to see what he looks like on the ground. If hey. he touched my woman, <laughs> I had this. It. My daughter said this once. Uh, she... Bro, the guy looks like a coward for not doing anything. Right. The guy on the video, he is trying to hold his girlfriend back. I don't like him. I don't like that guy. If I'm her father, I'd say, you got to dump this dude. Yeah, I know he was in a losing situation, but sometimes take you got to lose take for the, punch, the cause. Kid, take the punch, kid. Take the punch. That's right. That's right. And all I would be thinking is, thank you, PBC. Payday. When they, I'm suing Al Heyman. <laughs> Al, Al, in, this is exactly what I would say into the TMZ camera. Al Heyman, get out your checkbook. 
Uh, yeah, they better do something, Lee. This is not good, man. And that was, Lee, that's like 24 hours after Adrian Broner put terrorist threats out online saying he was going to kill somebody, fuck his, uh, excuse me, people, F his mama, F his daddy, F his baby mamas. I'm going to, uh, before I hurt myself, I'm going to take someone out. I promise y'all that. That yeah. is a terrorist threat. That is a felony. Like, they need to he get this to guy locked up. out of here. Yeah. Yeah. He ne- Look, uh, every time he does something stupid, uh, Al Heyman, wherever you are, I'm going to give you some advice. Get yourself a taser. And if every time he says something stupid, just put a couple dozen rounds of electricity through him. He's got money. They need to take he whatever. He needs aversion he therapy now. Yeah, yes. It, it, see, this is what's sad about the Al Heyman um, model. He doesn't, Al Heyman don't need these fighters. These fighters need Al Heyman. You see that, that credit card that Al Heyman received is all that he needs. All he needs to do is fill in names on the box and he gets paid. You see other promoters lead, they need these fighters to actually produce ticket sales and, and, and ratings so they can get paid. He doesn't need that. And Broner better be scared about that because he's going to get thrown to the side and someone else is going to fill that, that name in the box. Um, if I'm Adrian Broner's family, who's ever close to him, you got to try to talk to this guy to get him into a secluded area. Tell him it's only going to be for two to three years. But uh, it's like he's going to die. He's going to die. Ah, Lee, come on. That's not how we that's not how we're going to grow. We don't want to say that. We know. I know what you're saying. I, I know. I know he's living a dangerous lifestyle. But on a positive note, it's a Tupac Biggie thing. He's in too much drama, dude. It's going no, he, down. No, I know. He can't that's stop it. himself at this point. That's a lot of charges, man. He's a runaway hey, train. Hey, Lee, in, He's going to regular... do this to the wrong guy on the wrong day That's who's going to go out to his glove box yep. and fix it. And he's lucky that guy wasn't holding in the mall. Come yeah. on, the mall don't got metal detectors. Yep. Trust me, every time I go to an event, I said this on New Year's Eve. We walked into a place where we didn't walk in downtown L.A., a pretty reputable club, and we walked in and there was no metal detectors. I said... Yeah, that's not cool for New Year's Eve. When I was younger, you don't put it back into the car unless you get caught. How about that yeah, one? That's, that's the guy. Music. That's the guy he's going to run into. I agree. I agree. That'll do it for this week's Fight Net Radio, <laughs> where you've been updated on the life expectancy of Adrian Broner. I feel terrible. <laughs> that's probably the name of the show, the life expectancy of Adrian Broner. Yeah, it could be. Because it's not accurate, our fault, bro. He's going to do it to the wrong guy. Yep. You do yep. this to somebody, hashtag thug life with a tattoo on his neck. That's the end of the game. He already, Lee, he's already been shot at. The guy already happened. To Bullet holes life. in it, his car. It was God that saved him. It was it was the, a gift that got those bullets through that car that didn't strike him at least once. So he's already been shot at, bro. They, they, like, we are in um, the red territory already. The red flags are up. It's time to move them. Yeah, he, he's not him. even liked. Yep, I agree. Uh, just type in Fight Net Radio. That'll take you to our Facebook page. Don't forget, LasVegasDiscount.net. Long show. We haven't done a long show in a long time. <laughs> long show. Hey, good good fight week, though. <sighs> hey, at least we got it back this weekend. There you guys go. Uh, what do we have going on next week? Is there anything we need to talk about? The biggest fight of the year. No, we, we'll talk about it later. This one's been too long. I don't want to bore these guys. Um, Ortiz Wilder's next weekend, isn't it? Is it that close? No. We're no, two weeks. Two huh? weeks. No, no. We, we can make it a whole show next week. All right. We can go over his incredible record of all the incredible people that he's faced to get to this point where he could start talking about himself as the GOAT. This is a major step forward in, in Wilder's career if he he's takes Ortiz get... out beat like a drum i am so excited about that fight i don't even know like i haven't been excited about a heavyweight fight in a while like i'm literally excited like i gotta watch it like i've never want to i haven't seen a fighter that i want to see get beat up that bad in my entire life deontay wilder is just due he is the adrian broner of the heavyweight division like he's gotta happen Gotta so happen. we're two we're two weeks away from that, Lee. There two weeks. Uh, Everyone okay. starts saving. Save your money. LasVegasDiscount.net, uh, FightNetRadio.com. That guy is Andrew Labashe. My name's Lee Honish. We will see you guys next week. Thanks for listening.